Well guys, welcome back to the Zenith 750 Super Duty build. As promised, I did put one more layer of glass on this fairing around the bottom of the windshield. This is actually going to be really nice to work with because obviously the, the fairing was already filled and sanded and, and looking good. And we were able to put only two pieces of, of glass on here. We started from here and we put one all the way around to here. You can kind of see where the seam is there and another piece of glass from here to there. So as far as the fiberglass goes, there's only one seam that I'll have to sand and smooth out. And then with this peel ply on top, there's only a few pieces. So there'll be one little line right here where they overlap. It's really easy to sand, but there's one there. There's going to be one here and here. So what is that, three of them that'll be easy to sand. And one of the things you might notice is on here, you see how there's kind of a little bump right here? I don't want that bump in there. So you'll notice on the, the cruiser fairing, it's just real nice and smooth from, from here to there. It's just a nice gentle curve. And then as it comes down here, it transitions into a little step, which is a, a pocket to hold the side of the window. And that's the same thing I wanna do on here. There's a little step right here, which I don't like. And it, it actually smooths out over here to a nice smooth curve. And then just like the other one, once you come down here, I don't know if you can tell, it transitions, you can maybe see it like that. It transitions into a nice pocket like that to hold the windshield. So the next step on here is I will remove this peel ply and then just like before, I will spread what we call peanut butter, which is just uh, resin thickened up with micro balloons. I'll spread that on here and that really smooths the whole surface and fills it in. One of the things I've done is I've taken a hotel key card and I've kind of cut a curve on it and I might have to adjust that curve a little bit. But what I'll do is once I fill this with that thick resin, I'll just put this on here like this and just drag it around and it'll make a nice smooth curve to that resin. So imagine just a whole bunch of thick resin on here and you go through like this and this would put that nice curve on it and then I just sand it smooth when it's dry. I want to show you something I noticed this morning, which is not good. This right here. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to clean this off because this resin is designed to stick to the aluminum. So, oh, that little bubble snapped off. Maybe it'll come off. I might have to, to grind it off or sand it or something, but we got a pretty big drip right here. I never noticed until this morning. Well, the first thing I'm going to do this morning is remove this peel ply. And this should peel off fairly easy. There's one piece. And then we've got this second piece here. I kind of tore the edge, so I've got a little, there we go, little piece right there. And then you can see right here, there's just a real fine little line or bump to where those two uh, came together. But that's just a quick, quick sanding and that'll be smoothed off of there. There's the third, second piece. You can kind of see maybe how smooth this fiberglass is. And that's the advantage of putting the peel ply on here. So all I need to do is just a real quick sanding on here just to level off like this little seam right here and then it's ready to spread on that uh, thickened resin with micro balloons. So let's peel off the rest of this peel ply. say it's done because it's not done but as far as adding this second layer on here or the third layer I mean that came out really nice just a little rough sanding and I'll be ready to fill it 
and luckily my drip was easy to get off. It actually just kind of chipped right off. I think because this is the aluminum is so smooth, it wasn't roughed up. So it just kind of chipped right off and I just went over it with some sandpaper just to make sure it was all gone. But luckily that came off easy. Well, it's been a few hours here and I've put on this layer of resin and micro balloons. It's a little bit thin on the sides, a little bit thicker up here and thinner on the sides there. But if you look at this, you can kind of see how it has a nice curve to it now and that little, little bump is gone. There's some areas like right here. Uh, I'm probably gonna sand down into this and hopefully just sand that out. But there's a, uh, a product called icing, which I'll show you maybe on this video. I ordered some from Amazon. It's supposed to get here today, but it's a polyester, or I think it's polyester uh, filler that goes in there. I have showed it before because I used it on all my other fairings, but it's just a, a kind of a final top coat filler for any little imperfections that might be in here once it's sanded out. So I just put this on today and I'll let this dry for a day or two before I sand it and then I can pop the fairing off and uh, hopefully that should be a, a good fairing. Now, of course, the fiberglass that we put on is wider than the fairing itself. So again, I'll, have to, I'll just have to go and trim the edges back down uh, to where the, the, I had them before and then that will be done. Now, while I was doing that, the mechanic was here for the pits and we're trying to get this finished up. Almost everything is done on it now. And one of the things that he found, which is interesting, is that the throttle cable, if you can see it in there, which is uh, right back in here, right here, the throttle cable wasn't going all the way forward because it was hitting this oil line. So I, I, apparently I wasn't getting full power on the engine. So we kind of moved this line a little bit and now we can get full full travel on the throttle. So it will be interesting to fly this again and see if I notice any dis difference. I did take my exhaust pipe and got, and get it, ugh. I took the exhaust pipe and got it welded today. So that's done and installed. One of the other things that the mechanic also noticed was the tail wheel. The uh, bearings in here were, in the tail wheel were kind of rough. It was kind of, you know, when you spin a bearing, it kind of feels like it's ratcheting almost. So uh, it's only 40 bucks. I just ordered a whole new tail wheel. And uh, once that gets here, I'll replace the tail wheel. So most of the inspection and everything is done on the airplane. It's just a matter of putting the wheel pants back on, a couple things up front, and I can button this up and get this airplane finished and back in the air. Well, I'm kind of cleaning up and ending my day in the hangar here because I'm off to the gym and then I have some other things to do. I can't do anything on here anyway until Maybe tomorrow I can start sanding that, maybe the next day. I will show you, uh, because somebody else asked when I pop this off, how I pop it off and trim it and sand it and stuff like that. So that'll come up on another video. I do want to see if we can get the wings off of here tonight. I'm not sure if anybody else is available to help me come over and do this. But if they are, I'd like to get these wings off and just kind of rearrange the hanger a little bit, as I kind of mentioned on, on yesterday's video or the last video. So that's it for now. Again, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate you following along on this project and uh, we'll see you again on the next video.